Hello, I'm David Andrew Weeb, founder of Music Entrepreneur HQ and content marketing musician. Today, I'm going to be in conversation with Lewis David Levin. I hope you enjoy. It's either my third or fourth release in uh, this particular genre, which is uh, sort of a, a little bit of pop, a little bit of new age, but not not uh, not. Uh, just devotional chanting. So this is more uh, mainstream. So I would say maybe, maybe my fourth, uh, maybe my fourth release. So what drove you to write this album? Well, I think <laughs> uh, partly COVID. Mm -hmm. I think I think what drove me to write this was I had to have a project for COVID. So. Uh, I had all of this extra time in my hands. I'm probably the only one in the world that had extra time. Nobody else had extra time, but I did. So I thought, why not uh, write another album? The previous album I released last year, and usually I take six months off or a good part of a year before I start another project because uh, releasing an album is very challenging. Mm. It's a tremendous amount of work. It's hundreds of hours. And um, it usually takes me about a year to a year and a half to produce an album. I had the extra time, so why not just go to work with it? So that's what I, that's how I decided to do it. Mm. One of the main themes I noticed in this album is love. Is there anything else there for you? Uh, I think love is the universal theme. Mm. Love is a universal desire. And of course, if you look at popular music, it's 99% about love. Walking on down the road that leads to you With every step it's feeling longer Sometimes the distance comes in two uh, But it's, it's what kind of love, and I think that's the differentiation. When I write music, I write it in a way that people can get whatever they want from it. So uh, if people think it's a, a love between a boy and a girl, I say, fine, it's great, you know. I, I, I usually try to work with a double entendre, right? So it's, it's, it's a, it, can, it can be interpreted as personal love, but it also can be uh, interpreted as spiritual love. So uh, I, I personify the divine and the feminine in Divine Mother. And so uh, it's, it's basically um, a love story with, with, with spirit in the, in the form of the feminine, in the form of the, of the mother aspect. Yeah, there definitely seems to be a spiritual core to everything you do in your music. Well, it's who I am. Yeah, I love that. That's great. What's really special about this? We know that it takes a long time to write the songs, to practice the songs, to record each track. I can't really force anything. Uh, I don't feel that when I write that I'm actually doing the writing. Mm. I'm, I'm actually channeling more than writing. When I get an inspiration, sometimes um, I get really lucky and I get what is called a data dump. And it just comes right in and it's there. It's perfect, you know? Mm. But more often than not, it comes in a slightly not so great form and then I have to really work on it. So what's special about this? I think, um, I think maturity. Go now, quietly into the night, stars bright all in the middle of the 1970s. And 70s rock music, classic rock music, which I happen to love. I think some of the best bands in the world came from that era. My music has matured over the years. I've been able to write in different genres and different styles. So I used to think that I had to write in a certain style. I don't think that way anymore. I'm at the point in my career where I don't feel restricted by anything. If I like it, then I'm going to write about it. But I know that if I work at a certain style, I can write in that style. 
And the way I know is, I was a jingle writer producer for 17 years. And I'd have clients come to me and say, well, we want something like this, or we want something like that. And so I would have to study that styling. It's, 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 it's very exciting to, to be completely unfettered and, and just to write and just to channel what comes through. For most and every other time, have no peace of mind, oh no. All things come and go, I know. But I never learn so slow. It's, it's a, a wonderful sense of freedom. I'm not obsessed with commercial success, I just want to write what I feel. And so it's a, it's gr it's a great liberating feeling that I have at this age, at this part of my career. Let it go, cause I do kinda wanna, gotta save my soul. I do kinda wanna, let it go, cause I do. The old me would say if I wrote jazz, I'd have to do a whole album of jazz. Right? Which is logical. Or if you're doing a certain style, you want to keep it in a certain style. <clears throat> but I figure it's like going shopping for fruit. You know, you need a couple of apples, an orange, a lemon. You have to have a whole sort of variety of, of music. It makes it more eclectic, but I think more interesting. The commercial business, uh, the music business is a very cutthroat business. It's a very tough business. Oh, Um, fortunately, I never had to rely on the music business for my livelihood. And so I was always given a pass that way. Um, because of the internet, because of streaming, because of technology, it's a great opportunity for burgeoning artists to get their music out. Yes. And um, you have the tools now to to create a following, and I think young artists have tremendous openings right now to, to build a following. Whereas in the old days, back before there was no internet and it was just the radio, it was all locked up. And by the way, the radio is still locked up. Yeah. You still can't get on the radio. <laughs> I mean, you know, how many artists do you hear on the radio? 12, 24, 30, 30 artists? And the same ones from the 70s and 80s. Exactly. You are the one. You are the one. The internet is the great leveler, right? And because we're talking about a world market, um, you've got the world to think of. Yeah. And, and look at the new age music that I write, the, the, the chanting, the devotional stuff. Ocean, the blissful, ocean, the glory. I don't have to think about who's going to listen to it in my hometown. It's, it's just a different way of thinking of things. Yeah. So it, in that sense, it's wonderful. <laughs>